Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Beer Bomb Beyond. My name's Andrew, thanks for tuning in. Today we have another beer review. This time it is out of a very exciting brewery uh, based out in Johannesburg, and that is Mad Giant. So these guys have been doing some incredible things and are making massive waves in the local craft beer industry. Everything that they do seems to be pretty amazing straight off the bat. They really pay a massive amount of attention to detail from labeling to beer production to the overall branding. As you can even see from the fantastic glassware that they have on offer, these guys are really putting in a top-notch effort. So we've got a pale ale from them and their pale ale is known as the Killer Hop and it comes in at 5% alcohol by volume. So as usual, I'm gonna get this into a glass, tell you what it looks like appearance-wise, give it a good sniff, tell you what the aromas are like, and then ultimately give it a taste. Great, so once again, I was able to pick this one up courtesy of the good folks at Big Little Beer Shop. And uh, it's good to see that uh, these guys out in Joburg are managing to get their beers down to the Western Cape. Appearance wise, looking very, very nice. That is quite a clear beer. Nice carbonation, about so a finger and a half of rocky whitehead, but a really nice looking beer. Clear as all day, super clear. No noticeable defects or anything like that. Just a brilliantly crisp looking beer. So let's get the nose on this then. Wow, that is really nice. Definite hops on the nose, it's nice tropical notes. Uh, subtle, not bold and in your face, but then again, I've had IPAs with a far less prominent nose than this. A really nice nose. As I say, a lot of, uh, a lot of tropical fruits, some pineapple, a bit of peach even, but mostly a lot of dank, resinous notes with a good amount of tropical aromas. So I guess the time has come to uh, give this a taste and uh, let you know what I think of this killer hop. Cheers. Wow, super nice, super crisp, super clean finishing, lingering bitterness, a decent bitterness for pale ale. You can definitely tell it's a West Coast style pale ale, not your English style pale ale, which a lot of breweries do here in South Africa. Really nice, hop forward pale ale. A bit of initial tropical flavors on the palate. Then comes out clean, finishes nice and crisp with a nice bitter punch at the end. Really nice, uh, sessionable as all hell. Uh, could easily pack away a whole six pack of these. And at 5%, you know, you can do that. Wow, a really nice beer. I mean, we do have some decent West Coast Pale Ales on the market, notably uh, Devil's Peak Pale Ale, um, CBC Pale Ale, you know, people seem to like that. And there's some really good ones, but I think this one is right up there. This might be a contender for possibly my favorite uh, local Pale Ale. This is going to be a perfect companion to a late afternoon summer braai. Wow, it's just incredibly refreshing. So crisp, so clean, lovely bit of finish and uh, really can't fault it, an outstanding effort. So all in all guys, I'm gonna give this one top marks, definitely an A for me. If what they intended to do was brew a super sessionable, atypical West Coast Pale Ale, I think they've hit the nail on the head and I really can't fault it. Um, stunning beer, it's just a really, really nice beer. So kudos to Mad Giant and yeah, excited to see what their other offerings are like. So folks, thanks for tuning in again. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a thumbs up. Um, if you have any comments, any suggestions, please pop them down in the comment section below. You can always follow me on most uh, social media platforms. The link should be in the description below. And if you'd like to, please hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with when my latest videos are coming out. But until next time guys, keep uh, drinking good beers and I'll check you again soon. Cheers.